Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and this is Tasso Ham and Grilled Chicken Jambalaya. Today we're headed down south to Louisiana in preparation for Mardi Gras and we're celebrating with a Louisiana classic, it's jambalaya. Now there's all kinds of different ways you can do jambalaya with different proteins from land or sea. Today we're featuring two proteins, that would be tasso ham, which is actually not ham at all, but we'll get into that, and some grilled chicken. Now before we jump into this thing, I just want to remind you guys or let some of you know for the first time that all the products you see featured in these videos are available for purchase at atbbq.com and every single time you guys make a purchase at atbbq.com, it directly affects our ability to bring you more relevant content week in and week out and we appreciate that so much. So like I said, one of our two proteins today is going to be chicken and we're using boneless, skinless chicken thighs. And this is the very first thing we need to get on the grill today. So we're gonna start by trimming these up, just taking off any excess fat. A Little bit of that fat's gonna be just fine, but if there's any of that extra chewy, stringy stuff, you can get rid of that. Next, we're gonna be building our seasoning mixture. And we're starting with a really solid base. This is the Code 3 Spices. Sea Dog, which is a Cajun blend, uh, already a fantastic rub by itself, but we're gonna kick it up just a little bit with some extra cayenne and a little bit of white pepper. Now, as we know, a lot of times, rub doesn't like to stick to cold protein very well, so we add a little bit of binder, and it doesn't really matter what it is too much. You could use oil. In this case, we're using the Killer Hogs hot sauce just because it's a fantastic hot sauce and that little bit of vinegar is not gonna hurt either. All right, so we'll give a good, generous dusting of our Cajun seasoning here. Give that just a little bit of time, a minute or two to kind of set up before we flip this over and repeat the process. Now you notice we're using the thigh meat, the dark meat today from the chicken, and there's a couple of reasons for that. One is I just love that flavor. I love the richness and I love the texture that comes out of that dark meat. The other is that we're actually gonna be braising this at one point during the process. First, we're gonna grill it. That's gonna give us some char, which is gonna be a lot of flavor. We're gonna dice it and add it to the skillet later on and give it a braise. The texture of that dark meat holds up much better than a white meat would when it comes to braising or long cooks. All right, now let's get these flipped over, seasoned on the other side. Another thing to keep in mind while you're doing this is make sure that you've got a clean hand over here for your seasoning. So you've got one hand that's touching the raw meat and one hand that's gonna stay clean. And that way we can actually reserve this seasoning to use it later as well. And don't worry too much about over seasoning at this point because there's a lot of flavors that are gonna go into this skillet in the end and it can handle it. Today we're cooking on the Yoder Smokers YS640 pellet grill. We're currently running at 450 degrees, set up with both direct and indirect cooking areas. As you can see, we've got the grill grate set up over the direct flame, and that's so that we can get some really nice color on the outside of these thighs. Now at the same time, I'm gonna add our 12 inch lodge cast iron skillet to the right side of the grill. This is the indirect side of the grill, and we're gonna close this door up so it can preheat. All right, so we got the chicken on the grill. While we're waiting on that to cook, we're gonna prep up the rest of the ingredients for the jambalaya. Now that second protein that we're using today is this tasso ham that we've cured oh, a couple days ago in preparation for this recipe. We're gonna break this down into bite-sized pieces. I've got about 12 ounces of it here. Uh, now we've got a whole video of tips and techniques on how to make this tasso ham that you guys will wanna pause this video and go watch so that you can do this yourself when you're making your jambalaya. Essentially what this is, it's not a ham at all. This is the pork shoulder, so a Boston butt pork shoulder that we've cut into roughly one inch thick slabs. We've cured those very quickly over just about four to six hours. And then we throw that on the smoker, bring it up to about 150 degrees. And at that point, it's ready to use in any number of dishes. Once it comes off that smoker, you can throw it into the fridge. It'll keep for about three weeks in the fridge, about three months in the freezer. It's very commonly used in gumbos, jambalaya. It's even great just to throw it in a scramble with your eggs in the morning. So we're gonna break down all 12 ounces of this into bite-sized pieces. You can kind of think of this the same way you would use like bacon in a dish or in a soup or something like that, except instead of just being salty, it's also got that cayenne kick 
and those Cajun seasonings, the white pepper, there's some thyme, some marjoram in there as well. All right, getting some nice char on the chicken now. That's really what we're looking for at this point is to get some color on these thighs. Next we have the holy trinity of Cajun cooking. Of course, we've got our onion, some bell pepper, and some celery. We're gonna break this down about two cups of onion and a cup each of the other two. We'll knock these onions down to about a medium dice. And you just wanna keep it consistent, go for roughly the same size dice on your peppers and on your celery. Chicken's looking really nice now. Great color on both sides. I'm not worried about the internal temperature right now though because this is gonna cook for a while longer in the skillet. And now that the chicken's off the grill, I'm gonna turn this down to 400 degrees which is where we're gonna finish the cook. All right, celery, bell pepper, and last, we get to the garlic. Now we get these crushed and peeled, and then we'll mince it down. We're looking for about three tablespoons of garlic. Now that does it for the veggie base. We still need to dice up that chicken, but we'll get to that in a minute. I wanna get the skillet rolling. I wanna get our tasso in there, start crisping that up so we can build our jambalaya. All right, we move that skillet over the flame so it's nice and hot. We're gonna melt down a couple tablespoons of unsalted butter, and then we'll get our tasso in here. Kind of get that coated in that fat in there, and then we'll close this grill up and try to get some brown on the outside of our tasso. All right, we're getting some nice color on the tasso now, so we're going to add our veggies to the skillet. So in with the Trinity, give that a good stir. And then we're gonna start sweating these down. Now we're just gonna kinda do the same thing with the chicken as we did with the tasso, and that's to break it down into some nice bite-sized pieces. All right, this is looking great, smelling even better. You can see that these onions are just starting to turn translucent. They've still got some nice firmness to them. And that's exactly where we want them for now, because remember these are going to cook for a while once we get our rice in here. So at this point, I'm going to add our garlic in. I'm also going to add some tomatoes. We've got two cups of whole peeled San Marzano tomatoes that I'm using today. We'll kind of chop these down. And they'll break down as this continues to cook. But we'll help them along here to get started. I'll give that a good stir and let this cook away for about a minute. All right, so that's bubbling away. We've got some of the rawness off that garlic. We're gonna add the remaining ingredients at this time, starting with a single bay leaf. We've got all of our chicken. I've got two cups of rice. We'll give that a good stir to make sure everything's well incorporated. And then we're gonna add a little bit of pork stock. Now this pork stock I made off the blade bone from the pork butt that we made our tasso out of, but if you want to, you could always just use a store-bought stock. Uh, a veggie stock would work great as well. So three cups of that homemade pork stock should fill this right up. At this point, we wanna move this off the direct heat to the indirect side of the grill so we don't get any scorching on the bottom. I'm gonna close the grill up and we're gonna let this cook away until the rice is tender. Well, here we are about 40 minutes into the cooking process. You can see that rice has soaked up all of that standing liquid and it's starting to become tender. It's still got some bite to it. I just tested it out, uh, which we want a little bit of tooth to it in the end, but it's not quite as soft as we want. And as long as we're good and we're not scorching, we know that it's still getting a little bit more tender, we can let this ride just a little bit longer. All right guys, we're about 45 to 50 minutes into this cook. 
The rice has really become tender now. We got just a little bit of crisp on the bottom, which is perfect. So we're gonna pull this off the grill. All right, it looks and smells amazing. I'm gonna dig in. Mm. Love that tomato base. It's got a little bit of heat to it, but you know what? A little bit more of that Killer Hogs hot sauce would take that to the next level. And that tasso, fantastic saltiness. The texture is incredible. It works really well with the chicken. It's all got a little bit of heat to it and I'm loving it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out atbbq.com for all of the products featured in today's video. If you enjoyed the recipe, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below. Let's be good to one another. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to atbbq.com slash the sauce. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.